So Memorial Day weekend, we're doing this episode on Memorial Day. This is the most military thing I could find. I wanted to honor our... I thought it was great. Military. And yeah. And, you know, I, I like to... Um, I like two things about Memorial Day weekend. One, three-day weekend party. Always great. Hot dogs on the grill, maybe some Virgin River if you're feeling fancy. Right. Or some gator. But I also do like to take a moment and reflect. Well, especially because you do come from a military family. Yes. You know? I, I think my uh, my bio dad uh, was like a civilian who worked for the military. Mm -hmm. And then my stepdad was in the Air Force. My son is in the Marines. Uh, he just had his change of command ceremony. That's going to be a big deal. He's, uh -huh. he's like a captain. How did totally <laughs> skipped a generation, by the way? Totally. My older brother is a rocket scientist for Raytheon in Tucson. So I just, uh, I know, right? I truly am the black sheep. Uh, it's rough of the family, but I do like to reflect. And one thing that's cool is the field of honor at Freeman Park, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. There, mm -hmm. a thousand flags. Check this out. So it was nice. The weather wasn't really. I mean, there was a, there were yeah. a few moments where it was barbecue worthy mm -hmm. and uh, Totfus Park Funland worthy. Right, that was really fun. There was like a, a glorious hour where there was no wind mm -hmm. and the sun was mostly out. Right, mm -hmm. and so we got to see all the little kitties in the trains, planes, <laughs> and carousels. <laughs> the octopus. Mm -hmm. We rode on the Ferris wheel. Check this out. If you're wondering what the view is like. On the Ferris wheel at Toffus Park in Funland. It was pretty cool. And, you know, even though it is a relatively small one, it still freaks me out a little. Like, really? we got up there and my tailbone definitely started tingling <laughs> at the height. And I was like, Ugh. Like it does. That wasn't high, en high up enough for me. Or I was just looking through the camera to get the footage. But... You know, you were kind of, you were mostly looking yeah. through the camera, to be hmm. fair. But I feel like my definition of heights and your definition of heights is a little different. Okay. Especially because you are... Right, yeah, you're a pretty tall guy. Yeah, six feet. Yeah, you're... An I'm completely average in every way. <laughs> it is a little funny, yeah. you know? <laughs> but anyway, like, the fact that clothes fit you so well pisses me off. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a 42 regular. Life is really easy for yeah, me. Yeah, it's a bunch of crap. <laughs> yeah, when I'm not 20 pounds overweight. We'll get there. <laughs> right, it's all good. <laughs> anyway... Sort of funny, though. I think the main reason I wanted to go to Funland was because I was just craving some cotton candy. I had a full-on hankering. You know? Were you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. was. I feel like last night I was sitting in bed watching um, The Boys because <laughs> season four is about to come out. And uh, I was just like, man, I could really go for some freaking cotton candy right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you got it and it was flavorful, even though it came in the tub with the plastic on top. Right. Even though it was packaged, you yeah. said it was flavorful. Yeah, it actually. So sometimes when you get it, like the cotton candy and it tastes like styrofoam and it's just gross yeah you... but this one just tasted like good old-fashioned cotton candy and i got the one that had like four different colors and each color was a different flavor which was really fun so toughest park funland you are ifaf this week crisp high five 21 finger gun salute pew, pew. and chef's kiss to you yeah <laughs> nothing inspires confidence like the uh, ferris wheel rider when he was unloading us Thank goodness he said it afterwards instead of before. Right. He said, not bad for a 75-year-old piece of equipment, huh? I know, right? But, I mean, well-maintained. And that uh, carousel that we rode, uh -huh. there's a replica of it or a, a twin of it. A twin of it over in D.C. In D.C. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Little old Idaho Falls. Yeah. Hmm. Some history. And it just looks good. Right. They, they, all the horses jump. Mm -hmm. Walt well, Disney. All of it's well maintained, no mm -hmm. chipping paint. Right. And I think they just freshly redid their park benches too, because their benches are this beautiful bright red. They look great. 